your lines suck. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this mess into this fine specimen. And I'm not going to be even using more than one layer. So let's get right into it. So jumping into my most beloved painting program, Krita. And by the way, you can use any digital painting program for this as long as it supports pen pressure, which basically all of them do. So no problem with that. You're going to go ahead and pick out a brush that has size and opacity turned on and connected to your pen pressure. This is going to make it so when you're going to press lightly on your tablet, you're going to get a very thin and almost transparent line. But when you press really thick, you're going to be getting very thick and bold lines. So now for the fun part, we're going to take a pretty large size brush and we're going to go ahead and press lightly so that we get a very thin and transparent line. Now, if you're drawing an artwork, this will be your sketch line. This will be the line that you use for mapping out all the features and knowing where everything goes. For the second part, you want to decrease the size of your brush. I usually go to around half the size of the initial brush. And then you're going to make a line while pressing hardly this time so that we can get the same width. But now we're going to get a much bolder line. So this might take you a couple of tries. But afterwards, you'll get something along the lines of this. Do note that you can use another layer if you want, but that is not really necessary because of the next step. If we look at this line, we can see that there are some inconsistencies, right? You see this part is kind of bulging out and this part is kind of a little bit weird. So what we're going to do if you don't want to use another layer and just delete the line below it, we can go ahead with the eraser and kind of sculpt the line to weed out these kind of rogue lines that are outside to get a very clean and nice line. The last thing I wanted to mention is that if you're facing any difficulties or any troubles while drawing these lines, that is completely normal. I myself also had a lot of troubles drawing these lines consistently and accurately. You got to make sure to put in the practice and I will have a guide coming up on that pretty soon. So that will be up on screen now in the infographics if that is out. So stay tuned for that. And that'll be it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in me learning how to draw portraits, then check out the playlist right here. And that was me signing out. Peace.